Reefs are natural solutions to some of the greatest conservation challenges of our time. They improve water quality, boost fish stocks, and provide homes for a huge range of sea life like colorful sponges and crabs. With your help, the Nature Conservancy is bringing back the lost reefs of Oyster Harbour. A pioneer project for Western Australia, the first two reefs have now been completed. Spanning an area of over 1,650 metres squared, that's about the size of eight tennis courts, these reefs are now home to around 1 million native Australian flat oysters. They are helping to restore an ecosystem which has been extinct in the area for over 150 years. Prior to European settlement in the historic port town of Albany, the Manangnungar people recognised the importance of Oyster Harbour, known as Merich in the local dialect, both physically and spiritually. They used to catch the abundant fish that thrived in the waters of the estuary through the use of ingenious fish traps that can still be seen to this day. When Captain George Vancouver first arrived in Albany in the early 1790s, his men ran aground on one of the then bountiful oyster reefs in the harbour. He was so impressed by the local oysters that he named the area Oyster Harbour. The Australian flat oyster, native to the reefs, quickly became a stable protein source for settlers. In fact, they found so many uses for the oysters that by the late 1800s, they were associated with the harbour in name only. The combined impacts of over-harvesting, sediment loads from catchment clearing and disease meant the oyster reefs of Oyster Harbour were no more. The loss of the reefs resulted in a dramatic decline in the benefits they provide. Reefs across southern Australia all suffered a similar fate, but the Nature Conservancy, with our community, industry and government partners, are now using science to restore these rare but important ecosystems. To reconstruct the reefs, we used around a thousand tonnes of screened limestone rocks sourced from the city of Albany Quarry, loaded onto a barge and deployed using an excavator. These rocks were deployed as strategic sites within Oyster Harbour to create the reef substrate necessary for the oysters to thrive. Although the oyster reefs in the area became functionally extinct in the 19th century, some flat oyster populations still exist in the area, just in very low numbers. To colonise the new reefs, the Albany Shellfish Hatchery grew oysters from broodstock collected from the harbour. The oyster larvae are collected in special screens in the hatchery, grown in tanks, and when ready, settled onto shells that were cleaned and bagged by a group of dedicated local volunteers. Some of the oysters produced in the hatchery in an earlier stage of the project were grown to a mature size on aquaculture leases thanks to the support of our project partners Harvest Road Aquaculture. This has meant we have two different sizes and ages of oyster on the reef, including some that are mature and ready to add to the population. Local divers spread the oysters out across the reef bases, which were very quickly colonised by fish from the area including Pink Snapper and Skippy. Monitoring of the reef sites has shown a range of fish including cobbler, cuttlefish, squid and even the occasional seal already starting to use the habitat these reefs provide. Truly beneficial for people and nature, these reefs have created jobs and broader economic stimulation to the local region, which resulted in the creation of more than four full-time jobs over the project.